needing to get the inside scoop on print-on-demand products and how to optimize their success, today we're going to take a look at a powerful research and optimization tool called Merch Informer. Merch Informer helps you find profitable niches, research trending designs, check trademarks, and optimize your listings for better visibility on platforms like Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, and other print-on-demand sites. I myself have dabbled in creating print-on-demand products, but it's always difficult to know if they're going to be successful or not. So Merch Informer is a great tool to help you generate ideas too, to see what kind of products are having the most success. We'll go through the platform briefly, and if you want to try Merch Informer for yourself, you can get 20% off with my promo code Michelle. All of those details are listed in the description below. Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please be sure to give the video a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. And if you have any questions, you can drop those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. When you first log in, you're gonna see the Merch Informer dashboard. So this is your control center. It's where you can research your products, you can analyze the competition and even design your own listings. Now we're starting off, it kind of automatically defaults to this learn tab, which is amazing because if you aren't quite sure what every little option means, there's so many options that we have over here on this dashboard. They've got small videos that will walk you through each one of them to give you a little bit more information on how it works. So if you do have any questions beyond any of these kind of introductory tutorials, you can dive deeper and get all of the information you need, which is amazing. But one of the best places to start, of course, is with the product search and the merch hunter. These tools are going to show you what's selling on Amazon merch right now, the best performing shirts, hoodies, and more. So I'm going to click on product research over here, and then I'm just going to do a product search here. So a super easy way to get started would just be to type in some keywords. You get to choose your marketplace over here, and then you can choose a category. So whether we're just looking for specifically merch by Amazon shirts, we could also open it up a little bit more and there's some other products that we could research. So one thing that we could do is just type in Halloween since we are in spooky season at the moment. And then if I hit search, I'm going to see all of my results data display below. So I will start to see what kind of shirts are out there. So this is gonna pull in all of those results. You're gonna get that BSR ranking number and the estimated number of sales. You'll be able to see the ASIN number, the price associated with it, reviews, and how many ratings that each of these have. So you'll be able to get some ideas over here on the right-hand side too. We also have related keywords that are a little bit more specific and the search volume. So Halloween is very sort of generic. It's obviously popular right now just because we are in that season, but because it's so generic, you might find it uh, really hard to kind of get to the top of the pack unless it's very specific. But if I come over here to Merch Hunter and I want to get a little bit more results of like what are the top sellers right now, and I can continue on with the top 100, the US, uh, and then the Merch by Amazon shirts. I don't have to even put a keyword in here. It is optional. So if I just wanna click and see what products are actually doing the best, I would hit search. And this could help me generate some ideas if I have absolutely no starting place. So the one thing as we start to see here, we can see estimated sales. We can see the price points of those products. And then the one thing that I started really noticing, I was like, man, there is a lot of Eagles and Philadelphia Eagle related t-shirts that seem to be doing well. That also makes a lot of sense just because of the time we're in right at the moment. I mean, they did just win the last Super Bowl. They're doing well. So there is a lot of Eagles adjacent merchandise out there that is performing quite well. So this could be something where you want to jump on that bandwagon, but you do got to be careful because one of the things is you can't infringe upon trademarks. And that is a very fine line to walk if you are trying to do something like this. Even them making a reference to Philadelphia Eagles in their descriptions could be a little bit dicey. Just going to scroll back up to the top there. And if you do want to get just a little bit more specific, you can dive deeper. You can kind of move these sliders around and really try to zone in on what the top products are. This is just really going to help you be able to spot trends before everyone else is jumping onto the bandwagon. Let's take a look at the keyword finder next. So I'm gonna go over to keyword research and then we'll click keyword finder. And so this tool is actually gonna help you look at what exact terms shoppers are searching for in Amazon. So if we wanna stick 
to that Philadelphia Eagle type search. And if I want to do something that's somewhat generic, I might type in go birds. We could search for that. And then we can see that the most trending search items are down here. We've got adjacent ones, 42 birds, ABC birds, abstract birds. I mean, there's a lot of bird related thing. You can see the search volume over here and how much search that it's actually getting. You, you can also filter how many results that you want to see. If you want to see the top 100, you can change that. And then you'll be able to see all of those results down there. Scrolling back up to the top, lots of scrolling. Back at the top, we can also filter between Google and Etsy as well. So we can kind of see what the cost per click is that, how high is the competition, what the Google search volume is. If you want to filter between that, you can click on one of these titles and it'll reorder the list there. So if you want search volume, birds, obviously that really generic. So that search volume is going to be super high. But this can also really help you generate ideas on if you do have an idea for a product, is it going to be something that other people want? Is Are people actively searching for it? Keyword Finder is gonna help you make that determination. Ideally here, you just wanna make sure that we're, we're seeing, we wanna find things that do have a high search volume. We don't really want a high competition score and anything that's keyword related might also help you spark other ideas. So we just wanna focus on those keywords that get consistent searches, but don't have a ton of competing designs. And that's gonna just make your listings easier to discover and it's gonna help you avoid getting buried under thousands of results. Now, another huge feature here is the trademarks over here. If I go to trademark alerts, I have the ability to enter in any keyword phrases that I want to check. If I type something in just as simple as go Eagles, I can hit save. We'll see that it gets listed below, but then I do need to click this blue check trademarks button to see if there is anything, it may take just a little bit of time to go through that process. Other things to know is that I've obviously checked a couple of other items and they are not safe. You know, even the Go Birds is not safe. There is some, a trademark out there associated to it. It may not be specific to like t shirt designs, but it's just saying that there is something out there that exists. So it's kind of casting a wide net. It does have some classifications over here and there is this trademarkia check that you can click this and it's gonna open up another window and it's gonna have a little bit more information on what is actively trademarked at this moment. You'll also be able to see the classifications there as well. It's just because one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make is using phrases or words that are trademarked. Merchant Formers Trademark Checker is gonna help you avoid that by quickly scanning your phrases across multiple databases and it's a must use step before uploading any new design so that you're not getting a strike against your account. And speaking of uploading new designs, Merchant Former actually has a design tool that if you don't know how to create, if you don't have the software to create your own designs or you're not sure of how to get started on that, they do have a wonderful tool. It's in the external services. You can go to Merch Designer. It's gonna open up a new tab and you can kind of see that it's prompting a few things here. So if we wanted to do a t-shirt, We've got product color that we can switch through here. And then we have the ability to add clip art. We could upload our own images. We could add text. We could choose different fonts. We've got layers that we can do. We can draw. There's shapes available. Any idea that you have sparked and you want to go ahead and get designed, you can do it right here with Merch Informers. A really cool, awesome feature that you can get started with and bring your ideas to life. And then once you've got your design completed, you're going to want to finish off by optimizing your listing. And you can do that by going to the tools over here. You can do listing score checker. You'll have the ability, you can add in your ASIN number, you can add in some keywords and you can hit search there and you can get more information on how your listing scores and what improvements that you might need to make on that. Merch Informer really streamlines the print on demand process from research to design to optimization. It's like having your own virtual assistant for Merch by Amazon. So if you want to give this a try, do not forget my promo code is Michelle for 20% off of your subscription. All the links and the details are going to be listed in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Give that like button a tap and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.